if you are a parent this morning here in the sanctuary and you have children that are five years and younger, raise your hand. Yeah. There's more than that in our church, but I've been looking at how the Lord has blessed our church with young children. Amen. We need that. We need all ages. I'm glad we don't have a church with just older folks. I'm glad we don't have a church with just younger folks. We'd be in a mess, wouldn't we? Can you, can you say amen? <laughs> we would. <laughs> but uh, we need everybody. But my heart, I, I just wanted to encourage those of you with younger children this morning. Some of them are not in the sanctuary. I know they're back in the back uh, working. But as I was just sitting here this morning, I thought, thank you, Lord, for children. And if you are a mom and dad, a parent this morning, I encourage you to do something. If you are not doing this in your home, even if you have children, they're only one and younger, and you think, ah, they won't understand, but yes, they will. Start reading God's word with those children every day. Start praying as a family every day. And the, the, there's a verse that I always loved. Um, I'm sorry, I can't get the, the verse on it. But it talks about putting the word of God in our house and putting it over our doorpost. When you, go, when you get up in the morning, talk of it. When you go to bed at night, you talk of it. And if we would do this for our children, how much different it would make for them and for you as a mom and dad. And I just want to thank you, mom and dads, for making that effort to come to church all the time and bring your children. Sometimes you think, Phew. once you get them in the car, you think, oh, is this worth it? Yes, it is. It is worth it. And, and just keep persevering. And I know that there's things in this church for you. There's, there's, I know there's a, a young um, group that meets that, that has children, um, Moms and dads, and you can bring your kids. Sometimes there's, there's places for them. I think they meet once a month. Zach and Lauren and, and Jamie and Todd will tell you about that. Make sure you hook up. Hook up with these things. Come to Sunday school. Bring your children. You think, oh, you know, that's kind of hard, too. Get in that habit and do that. Come to Sunday school and get them involved in these classes. We've got some awesome Sunday school teachers that love your kids. And we've got some teachers that love you as parents and can pour into you. But um, I know that was a long spill about just parents, but thank you, parents. Thank you for bringing your kids and bringing them to church. Well, we're going to sing this morning. It says, so glad he found me. I'm glad the Lord found me. Aren't you? Wondering from the fountain when I heard my Savior calling me. He said, Come to me, relenting of your sins, repenting, and I will lead you out where you can see. And I'm so glad he found me. In love he found me, put his arms around me, then he led me to the shelter, and now I'm one of his own, and all the joy of knowing with hearts of glory. Someday I'm going to my home, my home in glory, and walk the streets paved with gold. I will love him ever, stray for him, no, never. He's the dearest friend I ever knew. 
found me In love he found me Put his arms around me Then he led me Up to the shelter Now I'm one Someday I'm going up to my home, my home in glory, and walk the streets paved with gold. And I'm so glad he found me, in love he found me, put his arms around. Oh